are hanging out with Chef Troy this morning, who's been cooking up all things squash, and he's finishing everything up so that we can eat this morning. Always right. good to see you. I'm loving this soup that you've made here. You've been digging on it. I've been digging on it all morning <laughs> long. Well, and we'll get to that. I'm going to plate that last, I think, because that's my grand finale. Okay. That's the thing I'm most excited about. Well, I wouldn't say the most excited about, but we're going to get to our seeds. Now, our uh, spaghetti squash, I want to start mm -hmm. with this because this is where it all starts. We roasted all the squash. Right. Simplest, easiest method. You know, these are kind of hard to peel, whether you use a knife or, you know, some kind of peeler or something. So the easiest way to do it is just cut it in half, oil and season them, turn them skin side or cut side down, okay. roast them 375 to 400 uh, degrees, 45 minutes. Okay. Usually right. 45 minutes to an hour. But you can see I've scooped uh, the spaghetti squash out of there and it strands up. You know what I've done. I, I covered this with plastic wrap so it didn't get cold. So now what we're going to do, and this is the one that's real simple. If you'll hand me my spice mix right there, sir, it's the one we're in the middle, the okay. next one over. Thank you. I'm just going to hit this with just a little bit of olive oil. Now this makes a great side dish, or you can add some kind of meat or something to this, or mm -hmm. maybe some, you know, sauteed vegetables on top of this and make it, treat it just like a pasta. But your spice mix is what really makes the difference, and folks can pick that up soon. Actually, they can pick it up right now. I just uh, just got into Reed's Fine Foods out okay. on Selwyn Avenue, and actually, I'm gonna be down there Friday between five and seven doing some sampling. So right. I'm excited about that. And Good actually, stuff. up north, I also got it in uh, Patterson Farms, and uh, so we've we've got it rolling. So that's a nice little plug there. I think. Thank you for that. And I will give Troy his props. The Bates family almost exclusively cooks with the spice mix right now. My mother-in-law actually started liking me after I cooked something with the spice mix. You know, it's weird, you know, because people like Anna even, she said, you know, I put it on everything. So I, I've been calling it the, the home cook secret weapon. Because really, it does go with everything. It's just a, you know, a basic blend of salt, pepper, you know, oregano, and some garlic. So there we go. We're going to add some cheese to that. It looks like sauerkraut. Does it have a tangy taste, or is no, it? No, it's it's actually very similar to most other squashes. It's okay. not quite as sweet. I'm gonna put this over here. Um, she should grab a fork and give that a try. Now I'm gonna get the acorn squash that we stuffed. We did that with the rice and sausage stuffing. So we roasted the acorn squash the same way we did the other one. I'm just gonna Ooh. set these over here. And that was the rice, spicy Italian sausage. We mixed all that up and we put it inside of a pre-roasted acorn squash. So real simple and easy. All the recipes, before I forget, available on foxshark.com. Clicking on the rising tab. Now, this is what I'm looking for. Me to. too. Ooh. Now this is the butter, butternut squash soup. Basically what we started with was just a little bit of chorizo sausage, the mm -hmm. Spanish kind, which is a cured sausage, pork sausage. And we sauteed that up with onions, garlic, a little bit of celery, roasted garlic actually, mm -hmm. onion, celery, a little bit of carrots. This is going to be yours, so I'm going to fill it up. And then uh, we added the, the roasted butternut squash. Right. And then we... Um, didn't really season it. We let the sausage do that and pureed it with just a little bit of stock, some cream. And puree simply means to blend. Blend. And I <laughs> used a little hand blender, but you could put it in a food processor or just leave it chunky. Okay. And then we're just going to put just a little bit of goat cheese on top of there. Mm. Mm. And then we're mm. going to take green onions and put them on there. And then these are the seeds that we roasted. We're just going to drizzle a few of those around there. And there you go. There, there you, you see, go. This is my there plate, you right? Go. My mom, thank you very much. You Folks, you. eat your heart out. This right here looks. <laughs> Anna, come on, come on. Anna, you tripping. Okay. You said that was for me. Aww, you don't want to share? <laughs> okay, I'll share. <laughs> you guys make it a great day. We'll see you dark and early tomorrow at 5 a.m. Of That's course, you can get the right recipes there. on our website, foxcharlotte.com. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow, folks.